Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, uh, December 3rd, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And if you'd like to get our signal service, you're welcome to head over to Patreon. The link is down below. You also get access to our full technical analysis and also our live streaming. So let's look at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we have been basically everywhere in the US dollar um, and uh, the Great British Pound and the US dollar, I was supposed to say. We broke down quite significantly all the way down towards the 20 exponential moving average. And that is at 13.28. And there we found support. So what I'd like to happen in this currency pair is to basically head to these uh, these highs again. I would like to see what basically happens when we get to these highs. Do we break out from here or do we basically roll over and go heading back towards the 50 moving average? So that is going, that's something that I will see tomorrow, the um, trading session or on Friday. What technically is going to happen here? Are we going to test this? Are we going to roll over from here? And if you look at the technical indicators, um, they are basically showing that this is uh, getting basically exhausted. We are most likely going to turn around from here. We're going to test this 20 exponential moving average uh, one more time. I would favor a retest of these previous highs and then go lower. That would make uh, much more sense. But if you look at the MACD, it is uh, turning around. The RSI is turning around. CCI is turning around. And the stochastic is basically flat. But we found quite significant support here at the 20 exponential moving average. So we'll have to see what basically happens. If we go to these highs and get rejected and that's definitely a selling um, opportunity if we basically break these highs then we are going significantly higher in this market so let's look at the us dollar yen as you can see we have rallied quite significantly uh, we are we were up with more we gave some of those gains back but we did pierce the 50 moving average and what I would like to see in this market is basically a rally up towards the 100 moving average, something similar to this, because that would give us a basically best entry to short this market. We are in a downward channel. We have been here for uh, all the way since in March, and uh, it is expected every single time we go towards this upper um, trend line that we are able to short it down towards the lower trend line and then buy it again. So like ping pong uh, within this channel. And it's it's a fantastic fun to trade a currency that it is behaving like this. So if you look at the technical indicators, uh, we can see that the MACD is basically getting extremely bullish. There's a lot of room to the upside. We're only 50 at RSI and it's also getting white bullish. CCI is bullish, stochastic bullish. And we see that we are basically trading above the 20 moving average. So we will most likely head towards the 100 moving average and then we can see whether or not we uh, turn over at that at that point. At this point, there's no reason to enter this market, neither with a buy or a sell. It is basically see whether or not we manage to get to that 100 moving average. So let's look at the euro US dollar. And as you can see, we have broken these previous highs and we are trading well above these previous highs. However, I do believe that we will turn around here, head towards, head back towards these previous highs, and then we rally. Uh, this rally may continue, so we may see a pullback uh, to in tomorrow's session or a Friday session. We are significantly overbought at this point. However, technical indicators like the MACD are bullish. Uh, CCI is flat, stochastic is flat, but the bullish demand is indicating that we are way overstretched. We are basically far out of the upper limits of the bullish demand. So that is an indication that this market may fall back towards these previous highs or even the 20 exponential moving average. So we'll see. But a pullback in this case is a buying opportunity in this market. There's no to buy it here is way too risky. You need a pullback in order to buy it. So let's look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar. As you can see, we are still within this very tight range here between 0 0.73 and 0 0.74. And at this point, we need a signal basically that we are ready to um, break out of this previous highs here. And 
I'm, my guess is that we'll stay here for some while. The reason why that is because we were overbought. I don't think that we have enough momentum in order to break out of this, um, uh, break above this previous size. So we'll have to see. If we uh, turn around here back towards the 20 exponential and then the, the RSI lowers a little bit, then it's probably ready to break out of this uh, at that point. But we'll see what happens tomorrow. This is a market that is um, going to go much higher if that we manage to break above this level and then trade above it. So the technical indicators are, at this point, fairly flat. They're not very bullish. Um, the uh, MACD is about to cross the signal line. The, uh, the CCI is flat. And the stochastic is basically trending underneath the signal line. So... This is also a weight at this point. So US dollar can't, we have pierced these very lows, but we are trading at the very lows at this point. Uh, we are significantly oversold, um, but and technical indicators at this point are, um, are flat or they are basically trending downwards. But I, what I think is gonna happen here is that we'll have a pullback towards the 20 exponential, around this area here at 1.30 before we basically head uh, lower in this market. So target here, sorry, target here would be around 1.283 around this area here. So a pullback from here and then towards this area. And then we'll technically see how far this market will go. Um, yes, so a pullback. Is a buying is a, is a selling opportunity in this market. There's no reason to sell it here because, like I said, we're significantly oversold, and we may have a pullback at any point. So, hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.